Welcome. In the last video, we looked at how we can migrate this uh, news alerts web part from a classic experience, uh, which is uh, this, um, to a modern experience, which is this. So you can see that we migrated HTML and some of the content, but uh, of course it doesn't look exactly the same. So in this video, we'll take a look at how we can make sure that we bring some of the styles um, that are in a classic experience to our modern experience. So we'll go ahead and start by going to Visual Studio Code. And uh, in here, as you can see, we have our uh, previous web part HTML defined, and here's our new web part. If we go to SCSS file right next to it, these are all the classes that are defined for our modern web part. So there is encapsulating class uh, for uh, new alerts, and that holds all of the other classes. So let's go ahead and copy some of our classes from, uh, from our classic UI. I'm going to switch back to my classic UI. And in F12, if I click F12, hover over the element that represents this web part, I'll see that there's a couple of uh, classes defined. First one is this one. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that and paste it into my SCSS file. Go back. There is some definition for the title of, the, of how this title is going to appear, the important part. Uh, and I'm going to paste that. And finally, the description is the last piece. So I'm going to copy that as well and paste it in my SCSS file. So one of the things that you'll see in our old code here in the demo code, hello world application, we've referenced our styles in this particular fashion. So let's match that with our new web part. First off, we're going to reference our key encapsulating news, uh, new alerts class. We're going to replace that results list that we had earlier. And since there isn't anything defined in the result list wrapper, we're, we're just going to remove that, but keep the rest. We're also going to remove this class since it's not used. Okay, so now we also need to make sure that we reference this medium just as we reference it in above. As you can see, Visual Studio Code automatically recognizes that this is, this is a good news that it's a valid class name. We're going to do the same thing with with the title, but as you can see, we um, it's giving us an error because we have a dash here. So if you're following a convention of uh, putting dashes, that may not work out for you. So let's go ahead and fix that in my title and description. This is my title. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing for description. And that's it. Let's go ahead of uh, let's go ahead and save this and switch back to our uh, workbench. See what happened. I refresh the page, and here we go. As easy as that, we've transferred all of the look and feel. If I compare these side by side, it looks identical to how it looked in my classic experience. Now we've got the same web part working perfectly in a modern experience. There you go. As simple as that. So in the next video, let's take a look at how we can migrate all of the logic, all of the guts of this web part, the JavaScript, from classic to modern, just like we did here. So stay tuned for next video. And if you have any qu questions or comments on this one, be sure to put them down below. And see you next time.